Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da. Habit of Allah, a question was asked. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah reward you. I benefited, alhamdulillah, from your videos. I have a serious concern and that is how do we repent? How do we prevent ourselves from feeling a false sense of hope? I understand that we're supposed to hope in the mercy of Allah and keep good thoughts and ask Allah to save us from his punishment. But how do we prevent ourselves from constantly thinking that since we're doing the fard, or maybe even a few nawafu, <clears throat> that somehow we're saved from hell and from Allah's punishment? Reading this narration, Yahya ibn Abi Kathir reported, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, If a caller from heaven announced that all people would enter paradise together except for one man, I would fear that I am him. And if a caller announced that all the people would enter hellfire together except for one man, I would hope that I am him. And this is in Hilya to Uliya. Uh, it makes me wonder how the Sahaba, even with all their righteous actions, never grew lax or felt that they were somehow automatically saved. How do we build fear of Allah and of his punishments and remove this false sense of hope from ourselves? I apologize for the lengthy questions. Jazakallah khairan. Well, first and foremost, I think you answered the question uh, in your uh, question. And that was by going to some of the narrations of the Salaf, this narration on Umar radiallahu ta'ala which shows us how the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een, how they were with regards to uh, fearing uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and having taqwa. And that is in fact the key as the ulama, they mention that often that when you read the Quran and you read the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you read the athar of the salaf, that it makes Islam alive for you. And it makes it, you, you taste the bi'idni Allah ta'ala, the sweetness of Iman. And it is if you are with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, the more you study his seerah, the more that you read ahadith, the more that you understand those ahadith, and you try to practice, then it is if you're as close as, as you can, living with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And the more you immerse yourself in those narrations of the salaf, then it becomes real for you. And then you put things in perspective. And with that being said, you should never have a false sense of arrogance. And we should be humbled when we read how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making tawbah more than a hundred times a day and 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 uh istighfar and he was the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so what about us what about us who are so far from his time and so far from often understanding his example sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we are in need so we that false hope false sense of hope should easily be humbled the more you immerse yourself in ilm so this is very important and we, of course, know uh, our own sins. We know some of us are immersed in major sins. Some of us do many minor sins. And so we often are aware of our sinfulness. And that alone should be enough to keep us humbled and not to spend our time excessively judging others when we look at our own uh, sins. And as you mentioned that it was narrated, uh, that uh, reported that uh, Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, if a caller from heaven announced that all people would enter paradise together except for one man, I would fear that I am him. Meaning I would be the one, I'm fearful that I'm the only one who didn't make it to paradise. This is Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So what about us? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm and nafi, rizqan tayyibu, amal and mutaqabbila. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to fear Him. Allahumma inni as'alaka hubbuk wa hubbu man yuhubbuk wa hubbu li kulli amalin. Ballaghani hubbuk wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.